Heather Locklear is an actress who came out of nowhere to become one of the most popular and recognizable celebrities in the business. You could say she was in the right place with the right face at the right time. But how did she get to this stature? Who molded, shaped, and structured her career? And how can they keep up the momentum? What's the genesis of this relationship? How did you two meet? I had gone down to a commercial acting class to find new talent. At the time, I was with a talent agency, and I was head of their commercial department, which I was just starting, and I was looking around for new faces. Heather was in this little commercial acting class, learning how to do commercials. Um, and I called her away, and I said, are you an actress? And she said, no. And I said, would you like to be? And she said, no. Did I, I say no? Yeah. You oh, had, that's silly girl. Well, you had no interest. <laughs> we kind of tricked her into it. <laughs> we said, now, Heather, we'll do a commercial next week, and we'll do a little roll on chips next and week. Take and take some acting classes in the meantime. Time. You'll just go to class, and we'll just have a party. But you can still be a psychologist. For most people, stardom is still elusive. For others, it's more readily accessible if the potential star is properly manufactured, packaged, and promoted. To be sure, Heather has talent, and that's the biggest factor in her success. But it's not enough. Behind every star, there are managers, agents, publicists, photographers, makeup artists, hairdressers, accountants, lawyers, secretaries, and a public that pays attention. We kind of moved along according to how Heather grew and how she felt. And it's been kind of a real natural progression, but we didn't design to for Heather to be a star the day we started. Uh -huh. We, I had a feeling about it. I'm not even sure if Heather did at that point. Once Heather made the decision to become an actress, there were decisions to be made as to the image she would project. The way we have it fashioned at the moment, I feel that the image is pretty widespread. She can, she goes from the girl next door that everybody can relate to, to a sex goddess if, if we're in the mood. It's the sex symbol thing that I'm a little bit cautious of. contribute a great deal both aesthetically as well as psychologically to her image I'd like to see her as Heather Locklear with these other personalities that they have deep inside of them sometimes it could be considered a fantasy and more often than not it's really something that I see in them you have a real high visibility factor right now obviously with two hit television shows plus magazine covers and what have you are you concerned at all about perhaps oversaturation sure <laughs> um... I, I think we're both real aware of that and and take it very slowly. I think there's a time when certain things come out all at once and you don't know that they're going to come out that much or maybe a guest spot that you did. Everything builds up in one pile and then you don't see yourself for a year. <laughs> you know, it, it's... Um, we, we try to plan it like where the magazine covers have been involved. We've been trying to plan it so we've got just one a month. And as time goes on, we come, be, have become more and more aware of doing maybe more things that are nationally geared. Originally, Joan served as Heather's manager, agent, and publicist. But as her career blossomed, the need arose to separate the functions. Joan stayed as manager, guiding all phases of Heather's career. But an agent was hired to get Heather job opportunities, and a publicist was brought in to make her a celebrity. It's a group thing, and we all try to come to one conclusion that we all feel is right, and if there's a little... If, if someone doesn't agree, then then it goes down to Joan and myself. They're going to have a problem on their hands, and it ain't going to be ours. Okay, okay. Okay, so then you'll do your three dynasties. They, they are in touch with each other, and we're working out some sort of a waiver situation, so whatever happens. Even though Heather has a blossoming television career, she and Joan have decided that feature films are the ultimate career goal. But beyond that... Wrinkles. 